All right, so welcome to Heroic Universal Concepts International. So um, I want to um, show the owner of this website. I just finished working on the site. So I want to show him some of the new features we added. I finished working on it and he added he made some corrections, so I effected the corrections. And as usual, when I'm done with a task, I, I usually want to make videos to show my client what I did and how to use the feature, okay? And that is exactly what I want to do now. Okay, so Pastor, you're welcome. Uh, the first thing is the logo. I've changed the logo to the new logo you provided, okay? The second is the, um, is the affiliate login, okay? Yeah, affiliate login. Now you see this affiliate login. I've added the bank account name account number and the bank okay so the person has to type the bank account name account number and bank before submitting that is the second uh, correction then the third one is uh, uh, the mm, the um, 1000 error 1000 error um, registration bonus okay let me log in and show you That's my stuff, okay. Think, yeah, to log me in, okay. And this is your dashboard. The dashboard, um, there's something I want to explain in this dashboard, please. Um, I will make you an admin if you're not an admin of this website. If you're not made an admin of this website, you're not going, you are going to see some, but not all. You're not going to see, let me show you what you're not going to see. You're not going to see pending withdrawal, you're not going to see academy. You're not going to see this and this, 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 and this. You're not going to see because these, these are not meant for other users. These are meant for admin. It is that the admin that has the right to see the users of the website. Admin has the right to see if there are people that this pending withdrawal is for people who want who request for withdrawal of their bonuses of of their earnings. You understand? So it's for all these are for the admin. So all these sections for the admin. I kept it for admin only. So, Pastor, what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make you an admin, so that when you log in, you're going to see everything the way it is. But for a user, for other people that will register in this website, they are not going to see some of these sensitive aspects. They are going to see only the parts that are meant for the users. Okay? And if you also want to see the part that are meant for the user, it means that you have to register again then log in without registration details so that you see the part that are meant for users. You understand? Okay, so that's said. Now let's go to profile. In this profile now, this is where you're going to see affiliate registration bonus. But this one, I've withdrawn it. That's why it is zero. Okay, then you can click on withdraw. Otherwise, it's supposed to be 1,000. And when someone, maybe you're someone invited, register. Then you also have, like you told me, the person will, will have a additional affiliate bo bonus, which is 500. Okay, and the the or the upline. I mean, someone that someone comes that register. I mean, if let's say I register, for example, I will have 1,000 reg bonus. The way I coded it. Okay, then if uh, someone that if I register I will have 1000 bonus someone that invited me to register will have 500 okay now someone that invited someone that invited me will have 100 naira just like you explained to me so that was what I had what I could and the, all of them will all the bonuses all the affiliate regi uh, I mean registration bonus will appear here you can withdraw it okay, from my own I've, when I was testing it I withdrew it that was why it, is, it, it was showing, it wasn't showing anything here. You understand? So that's by the way. Then, that is for the bonus. Then down here, uh, okay, I want to show you affiliates. Affiliates, uh, let's go to personal affiliates. Let's say someone wants to withdraw his affiliate uh, bonuses, as in the bonus people he invited. Register. Then you have to call, go down here. Do you see the, uh, this example? I just use the. You know, I told you that this is a ten generation referrals, starting from the first to the tenth. Okay, if someone has all these generations, then 
the person will now have total commission gotten from everybody that registered. Okay, all the commission. Okay, then the person can withdraw from here. If someone wants to withdraw now, this all these are just sample. I just use it, I'm using it to test it. Okay, it can be deleted later. Okay, so you just click on withdraw here. Then you see you've already requested for withdrawal or shut admin for approval. So it means that I've requested for withdrawal of this already. So when you click on it, if you've not withdraw, if you've not requested for withdrawal, it will, will write successfully withdrawn. Okay, successful. Then it will tell you to shut the admin for uh for approval. Okay, if for someone if someone withdraws, the admin has to approve it, which is you, you as an admin, you have to approve it before the person will now be paid. Okay. So for you now as an admin, for you to approve. Okay, there's one more withdrawal I want to show you, which is affiliate sales withdrawal. Like someone made a sale. Okay, someone made a sale. So th this is where it's gonna be. Let's say someone made a sample, so I made a commission of let's say this. The person can also withdraw from here. You get that? If someone clicks here, the person can withdraw. But I've withdrawn. That's why it's showing me that I've already withdrawn. You get that? So finally, if you are as an admin, after the users must have withdrawn, then you log in to check. Or maybe they shutted you up to tell you that they just they requested for withdrawal. Then you now log in and click on pending withdrawals. Okay. Once you click on it, you see all the withdrawal made. Okay, this is where you're going to see the account details. You are not seeing the account details here because I didn't enter my account details when I register. You understand? But once other people they register, their account details will appear here account, no, account name, account number, and the bank. Okay, and the date they requested and the time. Then down here now, you are going to see option. This is where you either approve withdrawal or delete it. Okay, now uh, you are for you to approve, you have to check to make sure that, that this person merited this and the person is withdrawing and you're going to see the type of withdrawal the person is making here affiliate sales commission referral commission and the uh, affiliate registration bonus you understand so you have to check once you verify and everything is right if the owner merits the what the person is withdrawing you can now pay the person okay once you pay the person as in you use your you send the person the money then you can now come here and click on approve. Once you approve it, it will remove you. You will not see it here anymore. Okay. Once you approve it, you see it's gone. Successfully approved. Okay. But if you check and the person didn't merit the withdrawal, maybe for one reason or the other, you don't want to allow the person to withdraw. Then you click on delete. Once you click on delete the person this con this details will be deleted and the person will not be paid you understand so so this is deleted now so that is how i coded it and uh, this way it will work quite fine okay so thank you so much mm. so you can now start making use of the website i've also added security certificate to it so it is now secured can now start making use of the website if in the course of using the website if you encounter any further issue you can i will still call my attention to attend to it okay thank you so much